Now let's go ahead with a scenario in which we are going to make use of the tab strip as well as table control both. So we've done both of the concepts in a different uh, project, but right now we are doing both in a single project. So let's make use of this um, uh, this table called SCAR. So SCAR is a table from which we would like to get the get the data. And in this, if you give the flight details uh, uh, in the first tab, in the second tab you should get the uh, you get the all the details of airline details. And um, you know they should be in both two tabs. And the second tab will be implementing the tab strip. Second tab will be implementing the tab strip. So we have these details here, and these details needs to be displayed in the uh, in the second tab. So in the first tab, I'll be giving something like parameters kind of thing, wherein we have this uh, carry details. So once you pass the carry details, you should be getting this uh, these things, or we can have the currency code. So you can create you can have this selection selection as currency code, and then we can do it. So let's do that now. So for this, we'll have uh, a program in AC thirty eight. So in this, let's go ahead with the data. It underscore s type standard table of s cat w underscore s type s cat. Now we'll also declare something like uh, uh, this currency code curr code s underscore C U R R type S underscore C U R R That's it. Save syntax after it. And back from this. So this is the one we had. So here we will go ahead with uh, this change. Okay, this is the program. Let's copy the program name. And then create. Flight details, and in this we have the flow logic. So we're going to click on the flow logic, uncomment these two uh, modules, process before output and process after input, and uh, we will double click on them and create in the program. Save back. So these two modules are active here and now we will go to the layout. In the layout what we will do is we will go ahead with the tab, 
tab strip. Let's set the tab strip here. Now here we will go ahead with continue. Tab S tab strip continue and here we will go for tab 1 and tab 2 continue okay. now here you will get the two tabs and uh, save push button is mandatory because we have to come out of the screen so we need to have that so select that exit button create an exit button here pb1 exit and uh, fct code i am giving as ext it's up to you you can have any fct code for that we have tried the logic as you already know so this is what we have and uh, back and once it's been created we'll go ahead with the uh, subscreen 2 so subscreen 2 is we will get this subscreen here 101 and then we will uh, by default it automatically gets created so in this we have to uncomment this one uncomment this one as well save double click on this 110 this also should get created in the program So once it's been done, we can go ahead and see that these all got created in the program. Save and back. I will go for this layout of the 110 screen. Remember, this is the first subscreen. In the first subscreen, you need to create the you need to give the currency. So we need to click on this uh, dictionary currency fields and click on the get from program. And we have currency. Say OK. So if you give the input as input in the currency, you can get the data in the second screen. Text one. And in this we have to go ahead with activate. Then we have to design the 102 screen. 102 screen is where we have to actually create that uh, we call uh, we have to uncomment these two. We have to create the tab table control here. Double click on this and uh, it will take you to the status that we created just now. So for screen 110 and screen 1, screen 101 and 102, both uh, the uh, status process for output and processor input will be the same. So then once it's been done, we will go for layout. In this, we need to get this data. So we'll click on the table control, table control with result. So, we we'll go ahead and create the table control with this. Continue and then this is tab table control for display of data. Okay. 
Now here we will go for internal table. Internal table name is something which we can select from this data. This is it underscore s with work area. Internal table and work area details have been given here. And then answer okay. Our program is not active itself. We have to activate the program, come back out of it, and then we have to execute the same thing now. So these are the fields. M N D T is anyways the client number. It will be constant for all the tables. So let's use anything other than that. So we we'll use the just output only. Continue. Scroll also we can do. Scroll is like if you have more number of records, you can scroll down and check the details. So you get this type of details in the second screen. Save and back. So we have done this. Now what we have to do is we have write the select statement. So we have to write the select statement in the. We will come back and we will go ahead and select write the select statement in the program. Here we will write select star from SCAD into table id underscore s where curr equal to that currency field that we have here. This is what we have done. Select statement. Yeah. Let me actually see what is the what is the technical name in the in the screen. CURR. So this is CURR. The field name is CURR. So let's go back and write this as CURR. 
Here, instead of that, we have to write C U R M. C U R C O D C U R C O D So we made sure that everything is active. Now that everything is active, like hundred screen, one zero one screen, one zero two screen, and program, everything is active. Now we can go ahead and create a transaction code for this. Then execute it from there. The program name is A ninety three. Here we'll go for ZBAP. Here we need to write the program name, and screen number should be the main screen. Main screen is hundred screen. Save. And then we need to go ahead. Z V A B is a transaction code. Z V A B. So I'll give something like A A. Go to the tab two. Maybe for tab A A flight number A A we don't. Okay, currency USD. So for USD we have some details, and for INR we have some details. Based on the based on the currency we are actually deciding the country. Okay, so this is how it works. Once you try it out, and if any issues, let me.